Welcome to Devotion. Okay, this is another one of those creepy horror games. It's an alpha version by Dead Byte Studios. It looks pretty interesting, and I think it has been greenlit to proceed on to Steam here pretty soon, but I'm not sure when. Uh, but either way, let's get started. I, these games, they freaking creep me out so much, but uh, I do kind of get a little bit of a kick out of them. June 19th, 2016. My dear, come to our old hotel tonight. I'll be waiting for you. William H. Okay. We're, we're at a bus stop. Are we supposed to wait for the bus? I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to wait for the bus. There's something over here. Salvation that way. Okay, it's so dark. But, oh, we've got a flashlight. Good. Turn on the flashlight. Okay. Yeah, and this, I notice when I take my finger off of the move forward button, it still proceeds to move forward another step. That, like, my W key already sticks. Uh, that doesn't make it any better. Okay, C, crouch or stand up. Um, okay. What is this symbol? It's kind of weird. It doesn't make me happy. We don't like the, the C on the sticks, on the triangle sticks. Hotel Marshall. you called. What happened? I received a letter today from my dad. That's impossible. He's been gone for five years. Missing isn't the same as dead. It's been a long time. You're gonna have to let go sooner or later. The letter asked me to head to the old hotel of the family in the woods. You're not considering going there, right? I'm already here. You're gonna walk into a trap. You made enemies with the wrong people. I know. I've never been so scared, but it might actually be my dad. I have to go there and find out. No, you don't. You're clinging to a ghost. I won't let you walk in there. I'm heading your way now. For God's sake... Daddy didn't show as much care when I gave him a chance. Uh, listen to Jeff. Give him another chance. No, you're already here, and it's a dumb idea to come here. Hotel Marshall locked. I need to find another way in. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just go wait at the bus stop for Jeff. That That's the best idea. Bus stop, Jeff. Jeff can come and help. Jeff sounds like a really great guy. And, and much smarter than you. Right, but it doesn't look like we can get in that way. Oh, we can, we can sprint. Okay, that is something at least. It's a good thing. Crouch and sprint. Oh, goody. A side entrance. We can get in after all, can't we? Oh, God. And here we go. Why do I play these games? I'm already freaked out and nothing's even happened yet. Okay, more of those symbols. I don't like those symbols. Here I am. Home sweet home. Home I sweet. I just wish I could go back to a happier time. Yeah, me too. Like, like going back outside would be happier, right? I don't want to go back now. I do want to go back now, but that's fine. We're in here. Okay, first floor. Something's blocking the door. Uh, more of those symbols. Why? Why? Can I? Can I interact with this stuff? Can I move this? I seem to be blocked. And that door's blocked. There's got to be a way through here, right? Can I? Oh, oh, I can, I can grab onto it with the mouse. And okay, it's a little bit wonky, but there, there we go. Move, move out of the way. Okay, goody, 
Can we do anything with the bags? No. Fire extinguisher. Pick up the fire extinguisher. Have something in your hand other than a flashlight. A weapon would be great. Okay, well, let's check this door. Oh, oh, it's got the symbol on it. Of course, we're going to have to go there. But no, let's, huh, let's just check up here. This real, okay, it's barricaded, and I can't, I can't seem to move any of that stuff. Too heavy for me. The spindly wooden chair is far too heavy. Oh, great. Uh, uh, Ten bucks says that I won't be able to open this door once we go through it. What do you want to bet? Uh, e to interact? N no, it, it doesn't interact at all. Crap. Okay. Ah, uh, the floor plan. Um, where's the you are here? Huh? What? Okay. Stairs A and B. We, I don't know which it doesn't say A or B which is this I don't know but it seems that we might be on stairway B because there seems to be a hallway off yeah, alright well it doesn't really matter dad? I guess dad what I don't see your dad anywhere. What the hell's wrong with you, lady? Okay, let's just look here. What what have we got going here? Won't budge. Okay, that's a creepy picture. It's a bunch of old women worshipping a goat guy with like flowers on his horns. Yeah, it won't budge. Okay, and that's just a very pretty pastoral picture in a, a vase. Alright. Not not all the pictures are creepy and threatening. But this one looks kind of religious. And that's never a good sign in a horror game. Or ever. But, alright, more. Okay, it's locked. Alright, that means we need a key. The other ones won't budge. And the, the more bars. What do you mean more bars? This is the first bars we found. But whatever. There's bars there. Okay, let's go. Let's just let's just run. And, and more re religious iconography. And yeah, we, they seem to like the goat picture a lot. Oh, all right, let's go down this way. This, this lamp fell off the wall. Maybe, maybe that's what she thought was her dad. Right. Okay, okay. I don't like blind corners. Everybody, just relax. It's okay. It's fine. Our flashlight doesn't seem to, like, run out of batteries. At least, I haven't seen any indication that it will. Okay, bars, though. Why? Who? Who's boarding up the windows and putting bars? Uh, the, the window board boarding up thing, I can understand, but the bars? Not, not really. I don't, don't get that part. Okay, room 214. What's this? Those bars are blocking the path. I need to find another way. Of course I do. There's something lit down there, though. It looks like kind of a shrine deal. I don't really want to go to that, but I have a feeling that we're going to have to. Oh, come on. Does it need to be that loud and creepy? Oh, crap. That scared me. Okay. Let's just move along here. Okay, okay. Sound of wind. Not that okay. More religious symbolism, and one of those symbols. Okay, a note. Name: Jonathan Caprio. Cap Capiro. Age: twenty. Hometown: Las Vegas, Nevada. Weekly report: number one. Date: twelve ten twenty twelve. I am reborn. While wandering aimlessly through life, looking for some meaning. Mr. Hawksworth has come to me and given me a reason to believe that better days are to come. He brought me to this place. It was once a hotel, but now it houses my hopes for a better future. He gave us these sheets so we can write our thoughts each week. He didn't tell us why, but he doesn't have to. 
He claims that as long as we follow his steps and never leave the safety of this church, we will ascend to paradise once our earthly stories come to an end. I choose to follow him and enter his church. Okay, that, not, not good. Not good at all. What do we have in here? Nothing. Nothing. And a whole lot of nothing in those. Okay, come on, relax. I don't like that letter. Though. Ah, a key. Hall key acquired. Fantastic. Shh. No creaky sounds. No, no creepy sounds of any sort. Okay, that, uh, that's not going to get us anywhere. Okay, well, we found the hall key. Alright, let's just run. Let's just run. Because what, what could happen? What could possibly happen? Alright, we're back to where we came in with the stairs. Is this the hall? won't budge. Is this the hall? No. Oh, 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 that's right. We had a locked door. That's, this is a, gotta be it. And it says hall. Okay. Interact. Oh, great. Okay. What's, well, it's very dark in here. Okay, what is this? Oh God, don't, don't do anything weird. Okay, nothing. I can't do anything with it. What? what uh, okay, turn over wheelchair. Right, it's just an abandoned hotel. It's fine. What? Okay, what, it's like just after three. It's like three o two or something. Uh, it's ticking, but the time is stuck at 3.02. Can we unstuck it? Mm, no, apparently not. God, it's going to make me go through a maze of furniture here. What are we doing here? At least that door didn't close behind us or something. Like on its own. I don't wouldn't like that at all. Okay, okay. Nothing in the drawers. I like that you can interact with the drawers and things. It'd just be nice if there was like a minigun or, you know, at least an SMG or some grenades. Something. Something in there it would make me feel a little bit safer, you know. I'd settle for a 9mm. Welcome back. Uh, yeah. I don't like it. Okay. Well, here we are. It says welcome back, and that's not a good sign. Any, anytime you see, like, writing in blood on the wall uh, in an abandoned hotel, just take my word for it, guys. That's the time to leave, not to move forward. But we are going to move forward next time. For now, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, smash the like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite, and we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.